Good morning. This is uh, Conrad Erps, Conrad's Genetics. Uh, this morning, what I would like to do is to focus only on, on rams, or as what people may call them in the United States, buck, or some people around the world, when they talk about the male, they talk about the buck. Uh, in South Africa, we talk about ram. Uh, we're still going to make, well, I would like to still make hundreds of videos like this, to give you more and the people around the more world more on part on par as how we look at, at boar goat. How do we look at our animals? Why is it that the South African boar goat is so popular? And how come, how did it happen over the years that the South African boar goat has developed into this exceptional meat goat uh, as it is at the moment? Now, the first thing that we're gonna do this morning is look at, at a, a ram or a buck. But keeping in mind that, now this morning, I'm actually in my office. We're not outside there between the goats for the moment, simply because it's going to work a little bit easier if I just walk in a photo here of Alalum, one of our rams. You might have seen this ram uh, or the photo of this ram on our Facebook, or you might have seen it on, on YouTube. The plan is, as I said, to make quite a large number of these videos and help people and help them develop their animals. First of all, if you look at the buck, if you look at the ram, the first thing that you want to notice whenever you look at the male, it must be masculine. The head must be nice and big and robust. It must have nice big eyebrows, sort of protruding eyebrows. It must be a rough animal. It must be a manly, masculine animal. Uh, ewes on the other hand, or does on the other hand, is going to be not much more feminine, but that's for the next video. We're focusing on the ram now. So first of all, what we're saying is, you would like to see something with a nice large head. Alright? And being a boar goat, what we normally would love to see is that it should be like a ra nice round, and look at that, there's a sort of a rounded Roman nose type thing. And from the tip of the mouth of the nose, it makes a nice half moon with the horns, the whole lot right up to there, which gives us a nice round feeling, all right? And we have nice long ears. They can be, at this moment, I think, normally they just hang sort of straight down. This one picked it up for the moment the photo was taken. And then the next thing that you would like to see in an animal is the neck. A long, nice, look at that, look at the size of the neck. If you're looking from there to there, it's a nice long protruding neck. The animal's got length. If you look at it on the length of the animal, right from the front of the nose here, right to the back there, we have a nice long uh, body of the animal. The more body we have, the more distance we have between the hind quarters and the front quarters, obviously the more meat we have, the more chops we have in an animal. The next thing that you would like to see is a nice long straight top line. Now at the moment, as you can see, the way that the animals stand with these two back, the two legs on the other side closer and the two front legs further apart, this naturally causes this animal to have a little bit more of a hollow back here. This animal I know normally has a straight more more straighter back because you like the top line to be all nice and straight. Very important, very important on your male is that it shall have a very deep chest. A male animal, the depth of the animal, there are three things that we'll want in an animal. Length, depth and width or breadth. Proper length, proper depth, that's the depth of the animal, and then of course the width of an animal. For a male, you want your depth from here from the shoulder, right down here, to be very deep. And normally a male must be very deep at the front and it can go narrower at the back. Or it should wedge to the front and the ewes or the females normally will wedge to the back. They will be bigger at the back, smaller to the front. And at the moment, there are tendencies in some countries where they, where they breed the little weathers animals, where these things don't have chests at all. You just sit right up here, there's nothing in the front, the thing which like that. 
That is not a bull goat. A bull goat must have a proper chest. There must be body in there. Why? Simply because this part of the animal is the part where we have the lungs and when we have the heart. These animals need to be functional. Remember what we have. An animal must be functional. He must be able to survive out in, in, in the bush and in the fields and in the pastures. He must be able to walk far. He must be able to find food. And therefore he needs a proper ribcage which holds proper lungs and a proper heart so that this animal can actually function and go find food. The other important thing that you would like to see of a male is if you put a stick under the animal somewhere here below in the middle by the navel a male or a buck should always fall forward if you pick up the animal here and you pick him up at all times a male should fall forward and a female should fall backward but otherwise what means most of the weight should be in the front for a male and a female most of the weight should be at the back the next thing that we would like to see is nice straight legs Strong muscling around here, yeah? legs not too thin, lot, legs not too meaty and fleshy and thick, just nice strong straight legs, straight log, logs at the bottom there, and at the back you would like to see muscling, you like to, nice long rump, look at the rump from the, from the hip bone there to the sit bone at the back, a nice long rump that you see there with lots of meat coming down the back, right down to the not little bumps sitting here, little balloons sitting here, no. We want meat to come right down here to the hook at the back. With lots of meat here and lots of nice thick muscle. If you look carefully, you can actually see, Mark, if you can focus in for us here, you can actually see, let me try and get from that side, you can actually see some muscle down there and some muscle down there. Nice hard muscle, that's what you want to see because Normally goats don't have outer fat. They grow outer fat, the old fat inside the bodies, not there. Your back legs nice and straight. A bag that is never hanging below there. That bag actually at the moment, it sort of pr uh, protracted slightly, but normally the bag of a male should never pass that point. Um, uh, nice and strong nice and big look at the much of meat that this animal is carrying and very very important in this part just behind the shoulder what we call the devil's the devil's grip you do not want the animal to have a devil's grip with other words what i'm saying it shouldn't fall back behind the shoulders behind the shoulders it should be nice and full of meat it shouldn't look like um well, i can explain it sometimes looks like somebody has put a belt around the animal and has tightened the belt. It, it's like it, it nips behind the shoulders. You don't want that. It should be nice and smooth and full. Thank you very much from Conrad Abs. I'm signing off now. We'll see you in the next video. Perhaps we're going to talk about the female. Thank you.